Hello, welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. Drilling deep wells require lots of equipment. In the picture behind me, you can see a huge drilling site, large machines, and all kinds of systems. This costs a lot of money, and also a lot of people are needed to operate it. For example, it is labor-intensive to handle the massive drill string. They are very heavy, and threaded connections have to be made up or broken every 10 meters. That is a lot of work, and the drillers have always thought, is it possible to work with something smaller? Yes, there are other technologies. For example, there's a drilling technology called coil tubing drilling. A coil is a device around which something is wound on, and a tubing is a long, thin pipe. In fact, a coil tubing drilling will use a sort of endless steel hose wound up on the drum as a drill string. As you see behind me, such coil tubing is pretty small and compact and can sometimes be operated by one person alone. This is a very positive point. However, if we look closely at the steel hose, we will notice that it is actually not flexible at all. It is more of a solid piece of steel. And that's why Coil tubing drilling rig requires some sort of special gears to handle such stiff steel tubing. For example, there's a so-called gooseneck. This is a device that helps to smoothly guide the steel tubing from the coil into the borehole without buckling. We also have a big injector. It applies the force needed to push the tubing straight in and out of the borehole. You can imagine this procedure requires a lot of force. Drilling with coil tubing can save a lot of precious time because there are no threaded connections to deal with. We can simply push the entire drill string in or pull it out of the borehole in one go. The disadvantage, however, is that the diameter of the tubing is limited. The larger the diameter of the tubing, the more difficult it becomes to wrap it around the reel. So obviously, only small tubing diameters are suited for coil tubing operations. Of course, this means that the maximum diameter of the borehole is also very limited. We also cannot rotate such a tiny tubing from the surface. And so a downhole motor is required to rotate the bit. The length of the tubing is also limited, as only a certain amount can fit on the rail. So the maximum depth of a coil tubing borehole is also limited. All these are disadvantages. But we can also mention some more advantages of the coil tubing drilling. For example, it's easy to pass an electric cable through the tubing. This cable can, for example, be used to transmit data from that whole sensor to the surface in real time. Using a cable, we can also transmit as much data as we want. And we can use the cable to provide electrical power to that whole components in the bottom home assembly. This is why coil tubing drilling is actually more or less like joystick drilling. Each movement of the joystick in the driller's cabin leads to an immediate response of the directional bottom hole assembly. And each downhole sensor measurement is available for the driller in real time at the surface. So drilling is pretty comfortable and the control cabin looks like the control room of an high-end intercity train. Very beautiful. So, if you want to know more about coal tubing drilling and all its other related benefits, simply come to our lecture, Drilling Engineering 2, here in Freiburg. We really look forward to see you. Glück off!